Today we're going to be talking about what does it cost to get a remodel done and that's going to be the topic a lot of people most of our customers ask about this question because they want to know how much is it going to cost to create this remodel to do this remodel and can we afford it so we're definitely going to talk about that we're going to talk about our services and how they relate to the cost for a remodel but throughout you know anybody that you bring into your house will probably be generally in that ballpark so you'll get a really good idea of what a full kitchen remodel can cost you know from a tune-up all the way to a full kitchen remodel so we'll get into the details for that but and stick around till the end of the video for a sneak peek about what we're going to be talking about next and we're going to reveal that topic uh, just at the end of the video so great well let me get into you know one of the first services or the most basic service that we offer is called a tune-up and a tune-up is where we come in and we pretty much degrease your cabinets give them a new life so they look about 70 to 80 percent of your existing cabinets that can cost you anywhere from about fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars that's typically the cost of a tune-up the next level up in service is going to be painting where you have existing cabinets that have good doors they have good cabinets on there there's not a lot of problems going on we can paint them to get you a new color and that typically runs anywhere between that four thousand to eight thousand dollars right dave yeah yeah and then, you know there's some things about painting cabinets that, that are worth uh considering and knowing about one, one is most of the time when we're painting we're going to remove the doors and all the drawer fronts take them off site and paint them there which yeah. means what's left in your kitchen are all the carcasses the boxes yeah so but the best paint application is going to be spraying so in order to uh contain overspray and 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 in some cases odors too we have to tent off everything in the room and yeah. which means your kitchen really is out of commission during that time because we don't want dust and things getting in the way of the paint yeah. there's also different kinds of paints that are used out there from oil-based paints or some water-based products out there um, and and some people are still spraying lacquers and conversion varnishes uh, which are solvent based and and great finishes but you know they do have some odor issues too so you know, if you're real sensitive to odors, that's a consideration to, uh, you know, maybe not be doing lacquers and conversion yeah. varnishes. But, but um, you know, overall, there's a there's a plenty of products to choose from to yeah. get it done right, and and that's really the best application. You get the nice, smoothest finish possible, yeah. and uh, you know, we're going to look over the cabinets real carefully too to make sure that it makes sense to paint them because yeah. we're, we're not going to paint over a bunch of worn out particle board. <laughs> no, 100%. You're so right about that. And it's, you know, people forget how much work actually goes into painting. So, you know, when you come in with a cost and people think, wow, it costs this much to paint. Well, because there's a lot of steps, because there's a lot of prep that we have to do to make sure that we get that right finish. We're never going to be able to get a factory finish like, you know, a fabricator would get in a factory. But we come pretty close because we use sprays. We use all the materials that we talked about. I mean, it's professional grade, but there is a lot of work, time and effort that goes into painting. And that's why it costs the way that it costs. So with refacing, we come in and we replace your doors, we replace your drawer fronts, we put new ones and put veneer on your cabinets, put new skin on your on your boxes. That typically runs anywhere between ten thousand dollars on the low end and can be up to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars on the higher end, depending on the size of your kitchen. Of course, the type of door that you pick out. If you pick out an RTF door versus a, a you know a hardwood cherry door, the costs are going to be a lot different. So that's typically your your cost range with refacing you're getting brand new doors brand new fronts so it's a much higher product in terms of what you're getting compared to painting because in painting you're really taking your existing fronts and painting them a different color with these you're getting brand new product which obviously gives you a lot more longevity and it's a longer shelf life when it comes to refacing than it's painting typically that's what we see for pricing but i know dave max can get into new cabinets Refacing should technically be about half the cost of, re of doing all new cabinets, especially if you're doing custom cabinets. It certainly is going to be half the cost of that. But sometimes refacing can be on par with new cabinets depending on the size of your kitchen. So if it's a really small kitchen, you might want to look at new cabinets rather than refacing because you're not going to be saving a lot of money when it comes to that. So it really depends on the size of the kitchen that you have. But in most cases for medium to, to large size kitchens where you have about 20 to 30 uh, cabinets in your, in your kitchen, refacing could be potentially a very cost savings option. 
Yeah, and along with that, um, one of the advantages of a reface is it can be done with existing countertops in place. So we don't have to remove countertops, which is, you know, one of the three big hits in doing a kitchen remodel is the cost of your counters. Yeah. So, so if you end up going down the road of, you know, replacing, tearing out everything you have and starting over with new cabinets, now you're, you're looking at a full-blown remodel where you're going to need design services. Yep. Um, and, and somebody's going to have to generate some drawings, some 3D renderings, and, and give you some options. You have the, the uh, opportunity to change the footprint. That's when sometimes people consider getting into uh, removing walls in their houses and you know doing that kind of stuff. So, so again, there's a broad range of how much a new kitchen can cost, anywhere from you know fifteen thousand, really up to about fifty, sixty thousand, depending yeah. on what you're doing, right. you, the finishes, and you know you, you're talking backsplashes and countertops, you know all new plumbing fixtures, and sometimes people are doing new appliances too, and you know it ratchets up real quick. So. Um, but but you get all of the latest and greatest storage options too yeah. inside cabinets. So the, there's benefits in each one of these opportunities and, and yeah. options that you have. But you know what we try to do is help you find the best fit yeah. based on what you have and spend help you spend your money wisely, not yeah. not blowing it on stuff you don't need. Yeah, hundred percent. And you know we have pretty much. Uh, a service for every budget. That's what we talked about here from the very low to the very high end. We can do pretty much any of these in between depending on how much you want to spend on your kitchen. Exactly. But what is, you know, it boils down to what do you want ultimately out of your kitchen? How long are you going to be staying in that house? And uh, you know, how much value are you putting back into your kitchen by doing any of these options? That's ultimately what's going to determine how much you want to put into that kitchen and what is it going to give you back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And and you know there's there's resources available too that that we offer our clients. If we're getting into a full new kitchen, then we're talking potentially new appliances, new sinks, and hard you know plumbing fixtures, hardware for the cabinets, backsplashes, countertops. There's just a myriad of things that go into that. Not to mention all the design elements that we want to bring to bear, and and those are all things that we get involved with yeah. um, at all levels. So. Um, you know that that at least saves our clients time not having to run around and do yeah. all that research from exactly. scratch so now you have the information on what a potential kitchen remodel can cost you know from the basic service all the way up to a full-blown kitchen remodel so if somebody comes into your house and gives you prices you have some benchmark to now compare it to which is really great because a lot of people you know when we go to people's homes that's the First question is like, we don't know how much this is going to cost, so give us some ideas. And we hope that this provides you with enough information to make that decision worthwhile. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking about how I can fund my kitchen. So we talked about what does it cost to do my kitchen remodel. Next week, we're going to talk about how can I actually fund this kitchen remodel. How can you get the money on the table to get that kitchen remodel going? We're going to talk about the different uh, possible options that you have. So tune in. We'll see you next week.